Despite economic hardship, high indebtedness, Nigeria sent largest delegation of 289 to ILO conference in Geneva. 289. Give us in detail, please. According to a list published by the International Labour Organization, RLO, Nigerian delegation, is the largest among the 187 countries represented at the event. Among significant economic challenges and high national indebtedness, Nigeria has sent the largest delegation to the ongoing 112th International Labour Conference, ILC, ILC in Geneva, Switzerland. According to a list published by the International Labour Organization, ILO, Nigeria's delegation is the largest among the 187 countries represented at the event. The Nigerian contingent, led by the Minister of State for Labour and Productivity in Kiruka, Onye, Georgia, comprises 289 registered delegates. This includes 108 government delegates, 62 employers delegate and 116 workers delegates. Additionally, two individuals were identified as persons accompanying the minister, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Joe Ajeru, and the president of the Trade Union Congress, TUC, Festus Uzifo, were notably registered as workers delegates. Brazil follows Nigeria with 191 delegates, while Argentina, Mexico, and Ghana have 156, 140, and 133 delegates, respectively. Despite the country's economic hardship, the Nigerian delegates, the Nigerian delegation size underscores the nation's commitment to engaging in critical global labor discussions. However, this comes as the World Bank approved 2.2. $2.25 billion to support Nigeria's economic reforms, including $1.5 billion for the Nigeria Reforms for Economic Stabilization to Enable Transformation, RESET, Reset, Development Policy Financing Program, DPF, and $750 million for the Nigerian Accelerating Resource Mobilization Reforms, ARMOR, AMOR, Program for Resource, P4R. This funding aims to stabilize the economy, support the poor, and enhance physical sustainability by raising non-oil revenues and protecting oil revenues. Nigeria has embarked on critical reforms such as unifying exchange rates, adjusting gasoline prices, and tightening monetary policy to reduce inflation. A targeted cash transfer program is also being rolled out to help economically insecure households. Finance Minister Wale Edu emphasized the importance of these reforms for sustainable growth. World Bank Vice President Osman Diagana highlighted the need to sustain reform momentum to stabilize the economy and reduce poverty. The Reset, DPF and AMO P for our focus on economic policy, strengthening and tax reforms. The 112th ILC, in concluding on June 14, focusing on pressing issues such as the protection of workers from the effect of climate change and biological hazards, the care economy, and the fundamental principles and rights at work. The conference will also elect the governing body that will lead the ILO from 2024 to 2027. Currently, Nigerian labor unions are in conflict with the federal government over a new minimum wage, with recent tensions resulted in a suspended two-day nationwide strike. This extensive participation in the ILC highlight, highlights Nigeria's efforts to play a pivotal role in shaping global labor policies despite facing domestic economic difficulties. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Can't we appear as the people who went with the least delegates? See, at Beto, what is the need to carry plenty, plenty delegates? Nobody should come and mention to me that Brazil and other countries because I will wipe the person or rhyme culture. I know some people will come as I say after all, they write and for the news, say Brazil and other countries, they carry 100 and something. And I don't get sense. In 11 and Brazil, they have the same thing. Why are they behave like this? Eh? At this point, I will talk to a nurse now. Ah. Sometimes I go look, sometimes if I look at some of us, the reason I go, they ask, why? Why would they reason like this? Can't our name be on the list as people where we say, we don't reduce them. 
They go use a market say, oh, they don't reduce the number, they don't reduce and 50, only 50, 50 people say I'm going to work for you. They don't go scream, this program is this thing now. What's it that go there for? For attendance, they don't go record that. They don't go record that. As they go. Paste and so that they go feel here from beginning to end. They don't get the virtual because all these things are necessary. Eh, then you do something about the country. Meanwhile, come on to control costs. Come on to put cost control for governance. Eh, Lishie, and you want us to believe it that you have good interest for this country. Hmm. Just the play. I know anyway, me, I don't I don't cook on this situation where they happen for Nigeria. Let me say it's, it's, it's to me. We uh, saw it coming. Yes. 289 delegates to do what if I may ask. My dear, if you ask me, who I won't ask now? Even countries with much population like India, Pakistan, Indonesia, China, and USA send just few people. What is wrong with us, my dear? I cannot know. I can't say. Me, so. These people have no conscience. You think people are just saying it. I don't tire. Call down the cost of government, empty green administration. See, that is what I'm telling you people that. I don't know about me, but I don't believe in this administration. I have even gone far to say, even if tomorrow fuel start to be reduced, I no go talk, I no go hail government. Why? I go one monitor her for a very long time because I know that <coughs> this government is not looking like government. They know the people are rented. Oh. There's nothing you want to tell me. Oh. They know the people are rented at all. Nigeria appears large and high, almost in nothing, expect in which management to labor here laborers are here laborers are capital slaves hence must be at the peanut level our leaders are really insensitive to the plight of our common nigerians instead of thinking and planning to make the country grow like dubai they waste resources waste resources is even understatement they don't know what they are doing just imagine people are complaining of hunger and our leaders are spending recklessly because of their personal gain what is advice that you gave to your brother Tenebo that spoiled Nigeria by bringing Buhari for selfish interest as president? Now, turn by turn, now he's worse, he's worse thing than Buhari and the Yorubas keep pointing the passenger and Jonathan spoiled Nigeria. Then, after how much is the bag of rice in Jonathan and OBJ's regime, they will tell that it is the time that the problem starts. Then, how much Jonathan borrow before greedy man bring Buhari and protest his insecurity for Jonathan rule? Yorubas leave tribalism alone. Hunger or no hunger, government hunger, one must travel and attend some international gathering. And even if they aren't going to make any meaningful contribution to such gathering. Okay. And even if they even aren't going, yes, yeah, so they go go there, they go sit on one bench, sleep, those off, snap picture, come back. Then you say, then go to so-and-so country. We could help ourselves for this country. We could help ourselves. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.